All right, guys, we're moving right along here. Let me just clarify from the last video. Um, the alpha error occurs when a scientist or a researcher says, hey, there's a difference when there's really no difference, right? So the technical way of saying that is that they reject the null hypothesis. You probably have seen that language. I don't really like that. It's very nondescript. It's kind of vague, but technically it's called rejecting the null hypothesis because the null hypothesis, of course, like a hypothesis which is null is that there's no difference, right? Like the, the finding is null. When we look at group A and group B, we study them and actually the null hypothesis assumes that group A and B are not different, they're actually the same, or mainly that they're, they're not different. So when you reject the null hypothesis, you're technically saying it is not the case that the two groups are the same. So that's a very roundabout but strict and logical way that we discuss the findings of statistical studies. So again, technically we say the null hypothesis is the notion that group A and group B are the same. That is, there's no difference between them. So when we reject the null hypothesis, we're essentially saying there is a difference. And again, that is the most common error. Scientists want to say, hey, there's a difference, but in reality, there's no difference. We should not have rejected the null hypothesis, but we did. But again, I don't like describing it that way. It's a little bit too complex. Let's just talk in layman's terms. So the alpha error is saying, hey, there's a difference. There's a significant difference between my two groups, when in reality, the two groups are the same.